it's very important that before you begin disassembling your laptop, you both take out the power and the battery so you don't shock yourself. I'm here today to show you how to replace your NV55C56U gateway laptop computer screen. Uh, there are three things that you'll need. You'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver, a either very small um, flat head screwdriver, or a pocket knife, or and a plastic baggie to put your screws in. Uh, the first step in replacing your laptop screen is to take off the screw covers on the front of the on the plastic guard. So we just go right in here and pop them off and don't be afraid if you can't get them off very easily. Uh, sometimes, especially if your laptop is newer, they're very sticky, but just keep trying. You'll pop them off eventually. And I like to stick them onto the plastic part of the laptop screen. From there, we take out the bottom screws. and we stick them inside the plastic bag. Now these are the only two screws that are on this model of the Gateway laptop, so it's pretty easy to take care of these. And then we pull these off. And now, this is probably the hardest part of replacing your laptop screen. You have to get your finger underneath this plastic guard and kind of pull until you hear a, a pop. And this pop, you gotta go around and pop all of these little plastic connectors out of place and you can pull off your laptop front panel and uh, don't be afraid to break it you can pull fairly hard it won't snap very easily and then here if we look on the side of the laptop screen there are actually three screws holding the actual screen in place to the back of the laptop so we have to take these screws out and there's three on each side one at the very top And they're little black, little black screws that are fairly easy to lose if you don't keep track of them. So you gotta put them in your bag immediately. And I already did the three, th the three screws on the other side just because I thought it would save some time. But there are three screws on the other side of your laptop that are in the exact same place as the right side. So now that you have your screws out, you can gently take your screen down out of the back of the laptop and lay it on top of the keyboard. And here's where, it gets, here's where you got to be super careful. Attached right here is going to be in a connector that connects your screen to the processing unit. So you have to carefully pull back the adhesive tape right here and you got to be very gentle because you don't want to bend or snap any of these connector pieces or you're you're out of luck. So pull this back and on the back part here this is connected to. So you pull up all the adhesive and then gently 
guide the connector unit out. Now I like to just stick it to the back just for ease. And here's your old laptop screen. You won't be needing it anymore. You can put it over somewhere else. And now you can take your new laptop screen, take it out of the plastic cover, uh, take off the adhesive for the and the plastic protector. And now basically you reverse the process. So here's here's the new screen. And you take your your connector and you gently slide it right back in there. Uh, gently slide it right back in there. Until it kind of snaps in. You can kind of feel it snap in. Then push down the adhesive and put the screen right back up into the metal frame. And you might want to tilt your screen back a little bit so it doesn't fall out. Now you've just got to go put back in all the screws. So we're going to start with the screws in the side frame right here. And you just got to wiggle it around a little bit to make sure that the holes on your new screen match up with the holes on your laptop's frame. Alright, and now that we have all of our screws in the frame, we take our plastic cover and we put the cover on. And this should just easily just snap right back in. And we take the cover screws and stick them back in and put these these little sticky things back on the screw covers I think is the technical name And voila, you're good to go. You are all set and your new laptop screen is installed and you are ready to power it on.